Hey guys, welcome again. Today we're going to be practicing our down picking and our galloping. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we want to cover today is basically just that down picking and galloping. Now, there are many techniques, riffs and stuff out there that you can work on just for your picking alone, let alone your alternate picking. But today I thought I would kind of focus a little bit on galloping and just down picking because in metal it is something that is used so much and it's really, really good to have just a really killer right hand. So uh, there are many different ways you can do this. Uh, one of the first things to do is practice with a metronome and that's kind of obvious but it really does uh, build up the endurance in your arm and it's really important to do. So the three things you're gonna to wanna to mainly focus on for getting good right hand is down, just straight down picking, galloping, and then just straight up kind of like grinding. This is more alternate picking, but you're kind of like gripping into the string to get that nice kind of it's not just, I mean, you really got to get in there and grit it. So those are the kind of the three things that I'll show you. And uh, basically to do this, you can just pop open a metronome. And uh, most of you have cell phones, I assume you do. Um, you can get this really cool free app, at least the one I have is free. It's called Pro Metronome. And it looks like this. And uh, it's really cool because you can set the different variations. You could set subdivisions of tempos. And rhythms so what I would do is I would just kind of pick a rhythm uh, let's do 150 so with that going so we'll first kind of do that that grind and since I'm kind of just grinding eighth notes or excuse me sixteenth notes the goal isn't to go crazy you just want to focus on endurance so you, you could sit here for a couple minutes, maybe like three to five minutes a day and just do this. Just this one rhythm. And you're gonna feel a lot of uh, burning in your right arm and that's your lactic acid building up in your forearm. That's gonna continue to build up endurance so you can just keep doing it longer and longer. You try with galloping. So basically what I'm doing is I am practicing all the straight techniques, but you don't necessarily have to just go straight. I mean, you can, but generally what I like to do to kind of help with the boredom and just make it a little more interesting is kind of just make up riffs and kind of cater those riffs around that rhythm. So as you saw what I was doing with the galloping, the... So yeah, I mean, just really hone in and make sure like that's the main rhythm. Uh, the other thing is you could do is it's really good to kind of just ride a specific string. Could be the A, could be the D, whatever, it doesn't matter. And just kind of keep the rhythm on that. So instead of just going, we're down picking. My rhythm, as you're seeing, is staying steady, and that's what you want. But you can kind of throw in a riff as you're doing it. Yeah, I said you can do that with galloping, you can do that with um So the whole idea is to just um, use a metronome for that part and then you can kind of just start making riffs and I know I kind of bled those two sections together of uh, using metronome and, and riff writing, but that's that's really what you want to do. So uh, do about three to five minutes with a metronome of, of each rhythm, preferably of the... This is the more alternate pick, digging in, then just the straight down picking. And then you want the galloping. And you, 
you don't want to do a tempo that's going to be crazy and it's going to kill you, but you want to start off comfortable and enough that you can kind of push it to where you're going to get some lactic acid building up, like I was saying. And uh, yeah, I, you don't have to necessarily start off doing three to five minutes. You can do like a minute or two, but you want to make sure you do at least, I'd say no more or no less than two minutes for each of those three rhythms. Once you've done that, so now you're about six or so minutes in, then that's when you just start focusing on just improvising riffs um, and just alternating rhythms. So like in that case, like you saw me doing, I was just doing the grit uh, kind of alternate pick and just making it riffs on the low E string. That's a good way to do it. <laughs> I know I'm kind of tremolo picking, but you're, you're still building up the endurance of the right arm, and that's the whole point. Uh, the more endurance you have, the more you're going to be able to down pick, gallop, all that fun stuff. So uh, it kind of all works together. And that's pretty much it for getting a good right picking hand. Uh, basically, to summarize it, using a metronome and then just playing riffs, whether it be your own or other bands or whatever that utilize those picking rhythms or of course improvising and just making your own. So like I said, so after doing those three little metronome exercises, see already I'm just, that's just utilizing and down picking it. It's so easy to create a picking exercise that you can do. Oh, see a little rusty there. Yeah, see, after a little while, you can get a little, little sludgy. So my right hand isn't necessarily the best either. So I see I still got to practice. But those are just techniques for you guys to do. And remember, uh, if you're not James Hetfield or Ola England, start off slow. Just make sure you really... And it's okay if this is comfortable. Like I said before, the whole point is to build endurance. And of course, you will build muscle and you will build speed over time. But if you can keep this for like five minutes, that's great. Because remember, we're building that lactic acid. So yeah, so just keep doing this. Or make sure you don't you don't lose attack. Because see, after a while, you start getting tired. It's so easy to. See, now I'm not really picking the string. So you want to make sure you keep up that velocity. That's huge. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's really all there is to just learning how to gallop, down pick, and uh, kind of, I guess, alternate tremolo pick. So just practice those three things like we talked about. And uh, yeah, there ain't much to it than that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll have more on the way. And uh, have a good one, guys. Take it easy.